Hi guys, it is Kiran and welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can tell from the thumbnail, today's video is gonna be on how I use the Dyson Airwrap on my thick and curly hair. The Dyson is all the craze right now and it is pretty pricey, but I think it's worth it because you can get a beautiful blowout all by yourself at home. But before we get into the video, please hit that subscribe button and hit that little bell notification so you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you guys wanna see how I got my hair like this, from this curly and crazy thing right here, then let's go ahead and get into it. Where you I will be. All right, you guys, this is my natural hair. This is probably I think y'all's first time seeing it actually. It is very thick, curly, and coarse, and that is why I was super excited to try out the Dyson because of the fact that I wanna see if it can tame my kind of hair. Um, I have used it before, it worked pretty well, I've kinda of experimented with it. So now today, I'm gonna to show you guys how exactly I get my hair to be nice and voluminous, like I kinda of just got a blowout at home. So let's start off with the products that I use in my hair. My hair is actually air dried for about an hour now. So the first thing that I always use is a leave-in conditioner. I always love um, using the BioTerra one. I just ran out of that, so I started using this Whey leave-in conditioner. I'll link it down below for you guys. It's actually pretty good. The only thing is, is that it's very fragrant. I'm not a huge fan of very intense fragrances, but it made my hair really soft, so that's a plus with this one. I also use this Therapy Daily Smoothing Cream. It's keratin infused, so it's great to just um, get rid of any frizz and just keep the hair nice and smooth. And it also has heat protectant in it as well. And then once I've done that, I'm gonna go in with my Trust Me Heat Protectant. This is like my holy grail heat protectant. It is super, super good. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray this all over my hair. Now I'm just gonna brush out my hair with my wet brush and then we're gonna go ahead and get started. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and start with the Firm and Smoothing Paddle Brush. I already attached it. It's really easy to attach and take off. That's one thing that's great about it. And it also has different heat settings. It has a cool shot and has different air settings. So you can kind of adjust and play with it as you want. So I like to go in with this first and just smooth out my hair and give it a nice like smooth blowout. I'll show you guys the first few seconds and then after that I'll kind of speed through it because I pretty much do the same thing all over my head and this takes me about like 25 to 30 minutes so I definitely do not want to bore you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and start with this. I'm sectioning my hair just to make sure I get everything nice and smooth. As you guys can see this is how my hair looks. I'm going to actually go back in with some heat protectant. I'm just going to go lightly in and just kind of use the protectant. That's pretty much what I'm gonna do to my whole head. I'm gonna section it out and just finish everything. gonna go back in with the brush and just kind of go over everything just to make sure that it is as smooth as can be. One thing I like to do is push the brush up and out so that'll bring up the volume. You see how there's a little bit more volume right here. So now I'm actually gonna go ahead and take the round brush attachment and I'm gonna do my bang area. <laughs> So that is kind of my trick for getting your bangs to be really voluminous is to, like you guys saw, go forward with it as many times as you can and then kind of bring it back, roll it and bring it back up to your head and let it sit for five to 10 seconds 
and then bring it back down and that's what's gonna give it that volume and that flip at the end. So it's a little tip there. Um, I will say that like I personally, because my hair is so curly, I would not just leave my hair like this. I don't think this firming brush does the job for like just a regular blowout. I definitely need to go in with something else. But for the most part, I mean, I got my hair semi like, you know, smooth and straight. But again, this is like not what I would use like just as is, I have to use something else with this. So we're gonna go ahead and go in with the air wrap attachments. Okay, so I'm actually gonna go in with the two bigger barrels. I actually haven't tried the smaller barrels and I don't wanna like take a chance here on video. So I did use these before and like my hair turned out great. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys with these two. Whichever way the arrow is pointing, you wanna put your hair to where like it's going away from your face. So this is my left side and I'm doing the arrow that is going like away from my face. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this one on this side so it goes away. And then of course, I'm gonna use this other one. Do you see how this is going? this way so i'm going to use this one on this side so just an fyi on that so what i do is i hope i can show you guys properly so i'm going to put my hair like this i'm going to turn on the air wrap and i'm just going to let the air wrap see that? It's so cool. and just kind of let it go on let it hold for a little bit you can kind of turn it if you need to, to get it at the root. I'm gonna use the cool shot setting, so I'm gonna push the cool shot up, let the cool shot sit for about five-ish seconds, and then I'm gonna turn it off and spiral it down. And you have a beautiful curl. It is so amazing, it takes like no time at all. Again. You wanna hold the hair to where the ends are enough so it can grab onto it. Kinda of let it naturally pull back on until all the hair is latched on. And then you just kinda of wanna roll it up. This makes me so happy. <laughs> I'm gonna use the cool shot in a second. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and use the cool shot. Let it sit back on the heat for a little bit. And then I just like to let it spiral out, just like that. And I'm not putting my fingers through it, I'm letting it sit there. In fact, I'm actually going to take it and let the heat sit in my hand for a little bit so the curl holds longer. I'm just kind of let it be there. seconds and let it sit. Now we're going to go into the other side. I'm actually going to change the attachment and do that. <laughs> taking small sections and air wrapping it but when I do it I'm actually going to like kind of put it upwards so there's more volume and lift it and pull it upwards and angle it And that's gonna kind of smooth it out as well. Push shot. Take it off and hold 
the heat in. And I'm gonna kind of slide it off and hold it. I'm just kind of let it down. Now with my bangs, because I don't want it too curly and I kind of just want like a nice swoop, all I'm, I'm just gonna pretty much do the end. Attach it there. And I'm just going to angle it upwards again. But I'm not gonna go all the way, I'm gonna leave it a little bit up. And I kind of go back and forth with it. Just roll it up, roll it down, roll it up, roll it down. And then I'm not going to keep it for too long. Just kind of let it out like that. I'm just going to shape it like that. I'm going to go ahead and finish this side and I will be right back. So real quick, do you see how when I angle it up, there is this kind of bend right here? That's for the volume. That's why I like to do that because it gives extra volume. So tip right there. Okay, so we have the front pieces nice and done. I'm gonna go ahead and take out that back clip. I'm actually gonna take a little bit of hairspray and just lightly spray on here to the front of play with it I am NOT going to put my fingers through my hair okay so basically what I'm trying to do is just kind of open it up just a little bit from like the top and like the bottom area just so it's not like super tight and it looks nice and voluminous like this so I'll show you guys at this side so I'm just kind of bringing up the hair but I'm not going through the curls I'm just kind of opening it up a little bit Gosh, it's raining so hard right now. I hope you guys can't hear that in the back. But anyways, I'm not gonna put my fingers through my hair. I'm actually gonna take some of my June hair oil. This oil is amazing. I'm just gonna lightly put some oil all over my ends. So I do think that my tops of my hair are a little bit um, flat. So I'm actually gonna go in with this attachment. So I'm gonna go in with the attachment and I'm just going to like, kind of bring more volume back. All right, you guys, this is the final product of the Dyson Airwrap on curly hair. You guys saw my hair is frizzy, coarse, and thick, and the Dyson Airwrap did a pretty good job. And I know I had to use multiple of the attachments and do multiple steps, but for me, and I'm sure a lot of you other curly haired girls, it is so worth it because my hair will last me anywhere from like four to six days, depending on what I'm doing, dry shampoo, all of that good stuff. So if you guys have any questions about how I did my hair, what products I use, or if you guys wanna see any other hair tutorials, please let me know down in the comments below. And while you're there, give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button while you guys are at it. So um, thank you guys again so much for watching and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.